Hey, Jeff the maintenance man. Let's do some pool testing here. Let's see what we got. This is kind of how you do it. Go deep, turn this up. Let's see how my chlorine and pH is doing here. Alright. This kit is the K1004 Taylor makes it. I'll put a link in the description where you can get this one. Let's see. Alright, we're gonna do the PA. We're gonna just go section by section here. We'll just do that. So, right here on your gauge, you said chlorine. This is for bromine, which we don't have a hot tub, so we don't have to worry about that. This is your pH here. So, this side, it says to, it's really easy, just follow the instructions. It says to add five drops to this. One, two, three, four, five. And then it says five drops of one and two. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, we almost put six in there. But that one. So, the color is close to five, so we're going to call that a four. Okay, the next one you can put in, let's see, five drops of this, and it will, it will uh, show you if you have any com combined chlorine which is the bad stuff but as you see it didn't get any darker really so if I do have any combined chlorine it's half a ppm or something or parts per million this one is for your pH you add five drops of the red stuff one two three four five probably gonna be high I don't know let's see we'll just dump the chlorine out shake it there we go 7.7.2 7 so a little on the acidic side but that'll work just fine and on the other one we want this one 25 milliliter mark you don't have to really go deep with this one so Oops, this is your alkalinity test. It's at 25 milliliters. Right on the money. There we go. So you take your green stuff. Where is it? That's the sulfuric acid. There it is. And it says to add five drops of eight. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Five drops of that. Oh, and add two drops of seven disulfate. One, two. Now I'll swirl. All right, now what we're going to do is add the sulfuric acid until this turns a red color, drop by drop. One, two, three, four. I already know it's going to take a little bit. Four, five, six, seven, eight, so eight, nine. So now turn red at nine drops. So you take nine times 10, make that 90. So our alkalinity is 90. And you want alkalinity to be in between 80 and 100 something. I can't quite remember what it was. But it might tell you in these, in these instructions what it's supposed to be, but it's, yeah. Um, this is how to lower or whatever. Alkalinity. Doesn't really give you. It's like. Uh, you, you want 
So you keep free chlorine between two and four parts per million. So we're right there. We're keeping it a little high right now because it's probably still got some pull shock in it. You want to have 7.2 to 7.4 to be your alkalinity. And then um, this is 80 to 180 or something like that. But as long as you're in between 80 and 100, let's call that, your pull will be fine for alkalinity. So, yep. That's how you do the pull chemical testing. So, our pull's looking good. Jeff the maintenance man, y'all have fun.